So what are some of the elements of a high converting sales page? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video. Hey everyone, I am Robin the Copy Bitch. I've been a freelance copywriter since 2002 and today we are going to discuss some of the important elements that you need on a high converting sales page. And the best way to talk about this is through an example, but let's go over some of the items and then we will switch on over to myself on Zoom where I will share a sales page that I think does a pretty good job. So of course, the first thing you need to start with is knowing your audience. Seems pretty basic, but it's worth mentioning, especially if you are new, you must know who you are writing the sales page to. Who are you trying to get to buy? Because if you can get in their mindset, what problem you're solving for them, what are their pain points, you'll have a better chance of writing copy that really resonates with them and gets them to go, hmm, yeah, I need this product. So beyond that, some of the elements that you're going to want to have on a sales page, and this is going to involve design and copy as well. So you have to think about that. You'll be working on the words as a writer, but if you are having any sort of influence over the design, you'll work with the designer. You could even put some design elements in your copy by saying, hey, here's where I think a good little video clip might work, or we might want to have some sort of, you know, movement here. You can make some of those recommendations and you should because you're going to look like that you're thinking about the big picture and not just the words. Because when it comes to sales page copy, it's not just the words. It is the design and the layout and some of the videos and pictures and other things that can have a subtle subliminal effect on what's going on in the person's mind. So think about those things. Some of the elements you're going to want to have a powerful headline. Now there are lots of formulas for writing headlines and depending on what the purpose of the product is and who you're talking to will help inform the type of headlines you write, but you're going to want to have a strong headline. You're going to want to think about your format, lots of bullet points, very skimmable, bold highlight the key points so that they really jump out at people as they're skimming. Social proof is another important element. I have a video about social proof that I'll link to above and also below. So check that out. But that's basically the testimonials, the five star reviews, things like that, because we humans are persuaded when there are a lot of other people saying, hey, yeah, I really love this product and you should check it out because it's really changed my life. We are definitely persuaded by that sort of stuff. And you're going to want to have some other trust signals too, like 30 day money back guarantees if appropriate, free shipping, secure credit card, all that sort of good stuff to make people feel confident and happy with what they're about to do. And of course, when it comes to the copy, it's the normal stuff that we talk about when in, we talk about writing conversational copy. Also have a video about that. Write in short, punchy sentences. Lead with the word you, because it's all about you, meaning you, the, the person you're talking to. Don't talk about it in we and I. Talk about it you from the customer's point of view. Use contractions, short sentences, short paragraphs, the bullet list, as I mentioned, make it super, super, super easy for people to read. And don't be afraid of going along if warranted. And the sales page I'm about to show you is rather long, but probably very effective. And I can speak at least to it was effective with me because I watched a video on Facebook that led me to the landing page and then I ended up buying. So without further ado, I'm going to throw it over to myself on Zoom so you can see what I'm talking about. And here we are on a classic sales page. And this format of something that's long like this is typical when you are coming from ads from Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, you will see this format. And the reason why is because it works. So let's talk about the different elements. First thing you need to remember is you don't want to have any navigation. So usually there's no navigation because you want people to stay on this sales page. You don't want them clicking away to the about section or contact or anything like that. Even the logo in this case is not clickable. Usually the logo is clickable on most websites and that brings you back to the home page, but it's not here because they want to keep you incredibly focused. Now, again, I was coming to the sales page from this ad, so I was already drawn in. I already know what the product is about. So the next thing you're going to have is a strong hook or headline where you're drawing people in because I was coming from an ad. This headline doesn't have to work as hard as some sales pages headlines might have to do if someone's just coming from organic search or from another area of the website. But this is extremely focused and related to the ad that I watched. So the headline is straightforward, safely eliminate fire fast, toss it over the fire. It's that easy. It's telling me what this solution is and why I need it. 
immediately with the headline. But that is a classic piece that you need in sales page copy. No navigation, headline, so I know exactly what it is. It should be persuasive, ideally. It can be hard-hitting. There are different formulas that you can have for headlines, but that is one of the elements you need in sales page copy. Notice that this sales page is not really fancy in its design. I mean, it's okay. And the thing is, is it does its job. So you will find different, if you Google sales page, copy, design, layout, you'll definitely find different templates and ideas and philosophies about it. But the most effective sales page is the one that works. It's the one that converts. And sometimes you're not going to know that until you put something out there. And the sales page you think might not convert will sometimes surprise you and convert. So some, like I said, you just sometimes have to write it, design it, and get it out there and then test and see what you can do to tweak it to get it to work better for you. Okay, let's go to some of the other elements. We have the features and benefits of what's in it for you. So lightweight and versatile, that means anyone can use it and it can work on different types of fires, which is important because you might have you know, a fire on your gas grill, you might have a fire in your countertop, on your on your stovetop, you might have a fire within your oven. So it works on different types of fires. It can work inside, outside. It's a no mess solution and it talks about the temperature. So it gives you the different features and the benefits to you, the potential consumer. Notice the different colors we have going on here. Now, the red definitely catches my attention. There's all sorts of schools of thought on what color your CTA's bu CTA buttons should be. And you can Google more about that. And maybe I'll do a video about that at some point. But here I think the red works because it just has a subliminal effect with fire, but also it matches the logo as well with the prepared hero. And you think red, you think emergency, you think fire. So I think the red works really well here and how they're using it. So again, get up to 51% off. If you buy the blanket now, it has the calls to action peppered, sprinkled throughout the copy. Here's your all important social proof. All right. We have someone saying, hey, you know, do not skip these. Get these. Here's why. And it's it looks fresh. It's within two days. You have all these people who are liking it. Social proof is extremely persuasive. So if I am a potential consumer and I'm checking out a product and I see that someone else has benefited from this product, that is just going to, you know, persuade me even more because it's like, all right, someone's already made this decision. They've done the vetting. They're using it. They're, they're telling me, hey, you need this product and here's why and here's my experience. It's all going into the psychology of me thinking, oh, gee, I need to get this too for my house to keep my family safe, to keep my house safe. Here's more features and benefits about it being so simple. And I love the fact that they have movement with the gifts here. So it just shows how easy it is to use. You just pull it out, toss it over the fire, and boom, you're done. And then it shows what happens if you don't use the product. You have to use, you know, the awkward fire extinguisher, which is messy and not always easy to use. So who better to endorse a product than firefighters? That lends a ton of cachet to this product and is probably even more powerful than the average social proof from the consumer. I think they work in tandem here. But notice how they use different bolding here. Alarming fact, 48% of all home fires start in the kitchen. So they try to get your attention in case you are scrimming. Scrimming? In case you're skimming. As you can see, you have things bolded. You have bullets. So it's very easy to read. I'm looking at this on a laptop. If this was on my mobile device, everything would be stacked. So you have to think, too, of how people are going to be looking at these things. And you have to look at both formats. To make sure that everything is rendering properly across devices and it's responding well and is easy to read. Here too is something that you would want to have on your sales page if possible. Again, it's going to that very persuasive, and this has to do with behavioral science, and that's, you know, why do people make the decisions they make? We humans don't want to be, you know, left aside. We want to be part of the pack of people who are doing it the right way. Yes, there are always exceptions, but we like the fact that over a half a million people prefer this fire blanket to anything else. That that lends a lot of credibility. Okay, people have been using it, testing it. I, I want it. Okay, the 4.7 out of five stars. It's not perfect, which is good because if it was five stars out of five stars, that skeptical part of my brain, that part of my brain that is trying to maybe convince me, oh, maybe you don't need this product. Maybe you're, you know, you need a reason to not buy. 
No, it's saying 4.7, you know, so that means there are some detractors out there, which is normal with most products, but still that's a really high rating. So it kind of gives me that comfort between the 4.7 stars and the fact that over half a million people prefer a prepared hero, I'm in the right place for this particular product. And again, fire departments and firefighters approve this product and endorse this product, right? And again, they use the CTA of, you know, I'll get my 51% off. So notice how they're sprinkling that throughout the page. You'll want to do that as you're thinking through your sales page copy. Look at it. It's there, I think, two times. Nope. Five, three times already. I can't count. One, two, three. And that's, again, because people tend to scroll, especially if they're on their phone. They're scrolling, they're scrolling. So you're giving opportunities every time you have a chunk of copy for people to buy. And now we get into longer social proof. So we had the social proof up here. And now we have the social proof down here as well, where we get into some more meteor reviews. And we have the classic money back guarantee. Now, this is extremely popular on, on products, on consumer products for the B2C audience, for business to consumer and it's to the point where you can make jokes about, oh, yeah, the 30 day money back guarantee. But the reason why businesses include it is because it is extremely persuasive and it goes to that whole psychology. We are a loss averse species, meaning we don't want to lose our hard earned cash. We're definitely worried about that. And when we buy products, even if it's like a small investment, this isn't a huge investment. These fire blankets money wise still, we don't want to lose our hard-earned cash. We don't want to feel like we're making a bad decision. And we want to know, hey, we have an out in case we do, in case we do decide somewhere down the line, this wasn't the best product or we aren't making the best decision, or maybe we learn a piece of information. This gives us that out. You know, it's very comfortable. It's like 30 days, I get to use this product. And if for some reason I don't, you know, want it, or I learn something else, money back guarantee. And that's that's kind of that trigger that goes, okay, I can I can take this risk. I can buy this product because I know that if it doesn't work out, I have an out. And again, we have the CTA. So that's the fourth placement of the CTA. Then this particular sales page goes into some frequently asked questions. And that's very smart. You notice how this is just one page. You have a, a captive audience that is considering this product. So you wanna have all the different elements, the features, and benefits, the social proof, the money back guarantee, and then the questions. Here are some of the questions that might be going through my mind that that final moment when I'm thinking of all of my possible objection, objections, they are answering them here, or they're just answering some of the questions about the product itself. Like, can I use it on any type of fire? Where can I hang it? Is it reusable? And you can just click in to get the different answers, which they keep pretty short, which is fine. It makes it very user-friendly. And then you get to the bottom and it reemphasizes or it says for the first time, you know, quality assured products, fast and reliable shipping, secure and easy checkout. So again, those those trust signals so you know that you're ordering from a reputable company, that my credit card information is going to be safe, there's the money back guarantee, there's all the incredible features and benefits that show how it's really going to benefit my, my life and why I should get this product. And they're off offering, you know, the special deal, the bundle deals up to 51% off. So there you have it, sales page copy and how to do it well and a great example. And now I'm gonna throw it back to myself and Stewie. And there you have it, some of those elements of high converting sales pages in action. What do you think? Are there other elements that you use or other examples that you've seen around the old internet? Feel free to share in the comments. We love learning from each other here. I am Robin the Copy Bitch. That's Stewie, my sidekick sloth. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.